Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, we're gonna talk about pots that I do not recommend buying, pots that I really don't like brewing. Somebody had asked me this the other day and I just realized that I don't have a video like this. I have a video of my like virtual line favorites, original line favorites, which I have to update. I will update those pretty soon too, but today we're just gonna talk about pots that are just not it for me. And keep in mind that this is for me. So if you are somebody that does enjoy the pod, that's awesome. That's great. I'm not bad mouthing your taste. It's just something that they're just pods that I don't personally enjoy brewing. So with that in mind, let's get started with this video. Naturally, I don't have a lot of them with me. I have a few, but if I have some other ones in mind, I'm gonna have to go online and just kind of show you what they look like. First one is gonna surprise I think my OG followers because I used to talk about this one a lot and how I do like it. I do enjoy it sometimes. This one, before I continue talking, this one is Hazelino. It's okay, but it's not my favorite. This one, if for some reason they would make it in espresso form, I think I would enjoy it a lot better. I think right now, just my point where I am in life, being pregnant, I haven't really been enjoying a big cup of coffee i've been leaning towards lattes and uh, cappuccinos iced lattes and all of that and so these bigger pots just really haven't cut it sometimes i feel like depending on the batch it doesn't quite taste right sometimes i get a real nice hazel hazelnut flavor and then other times i feel like it's not it i actually haven't bought it in a long time these i have like two or three left and i don't see myself repurchasing these i feel like nespresso has even like the bigger pods better options out there where you can just add your favorite hazelnut syrup or creamer and it'll be a ton better than than these things which reminds me i want to share with you guys hold on this one is from monin it's their french hazelnut like i said if you like for example i do enjoy um melosio that one with this syrup golden so delicious so yummy you could even pair this one with the vanilla custard the big one kind of like from the same line but the vanilla one even the caramel one it's just this one i'm sure it'll help it i just don't really enjoy it as much as i used to and so pairing french hazelnut with any other big coffee pot like the seven ounce pot i think will be better than just buying that pot alone and i should mention going forward my preferences in coffee are generally a medium sometimes medium to dark roast i am not a fan of dark roast or something with that's too too light it has to be very very special if it's going to be light and it's very rare that i like a very very light pot so just keep that in mind medium to medium to dark roast is my jam another one that i absolutely <laughs> dislike is this one this one is fortado i have their decaf i have tried it it's okay it's not bad but i just don't like the intensity of it and because of that i'm going to mention it today i feel like if you like medium roast like i do arondio is probably a better option unfortunately arondio doesn't come in decaf only fortado but fortado regular and decaffeinado are just not my favorite another one if you guys have been following me for since the beginning of my coffee videos then you know that bianco forte is like that one capsule that i just do not vibe with at all i tried it i even tried it cold or ice over ice because a lot of you guys had recommended doing that and that's how you guys prefer it but for some reason i just don't like how bitter it is and how i don't know how to explain it it's almost like thick and bitter in my opinion and it just does not i just i i could do it iced but again there's other pods that i prefer iced over this so i don't see myself purchasing this over and over again and just doing it iced if that makes any sense so bianco forte if you hate bitter coffee if you don't like a strong coffee then stay away from bianco forte because it is not good all right this is the next one if you're new to nespresso then you probably haven't tried it this is the pinwheel peppermint pinwheel they only bring this out during the holidays and i'm almost sure they're going to bring it out again at the end of this year like around the holiday time um it's okay but this year i feel like i have maybe three left i don't see myself purchasing it again 
I don't think it's worth it. I feel like the flavor, I feel like the, fa the flavor is very bland in my opinion. And just knowing that this is a half caffeinated pod. And I can see maybe why they did it at half calf because when I think of peppermint, I think of tea and usually tea I like at night to unwind. So I could see maybe that's why they did a half calf so that you can use it at night. But I don't know, I just don't, I just don't like it. It does pair well with like any kind of like chocolate syrup, mocha syrup, creamer, whatever. But it's just one of those pods that although I don't absolutely hate it, it's just one that I don't see myself repurchasing again. So keep that in mind. And if you're curious, it's not awful like Bianco Forte. Like it's worth trying just to see if you like it, especially if you know you like peppermint. But I personally, again, don't see myself repurchasing this one. All right, the next one is this one right here. It's chocolate fudge from their barista line, I think it's called. And this one, no. If you like chocolate, I think you'll be very disappointed in this one. Again, I would see myself instead of doing this, just buying a bark of chocolate and then melting it within your coffee to get that rich coffee flavor because this just tastes odd. It just has like a weird aftertaste. And I feel like even with syrup that's chocolate flavored, when you add this to it, the aftertaste is still there and it's just not good. Now, if you have the original line uh, machine, the original line version of chocolate fudge is good. I forgot what theirs is called. This one is called chocolate fudge. I think theirs original line is called chocolate truffle. That one is really good. I don't know what it is. It almost has the same flavor without the aftertaste, if that makes any sense. If you're gonna look into like chocolate anything, I would definitely recommend the original line if you do have a, a machine for those capsules. But this one, the aftertaste is just not good. All right, another one that is, I think, very similar to Bianco Forte is this one. This one's Intenso. It is Intenso. <laughs> it is very intense and I just don't like it. Again, if you like, like a dark roast coffee, then I think you would enjoy it with some, with some nice creamer. I think it'd be nice for those that like and enjoy like a dark roast. I just don't. And I think it's just that it's like, I just don't enjoy a dark roast. I like something more of a medium roast, something creamy, milky, and this is just a little too bold for my taste. So that's all I have to say. It's not like horrible, but it is a, it's a little stronger than what I would like, so. I wouldn't recommend it, especially if you know that you don't like dark roast. Okay, I did a whole review on this pod. And when this pod came out for the first time, it was very like, people either loved it or hate it. I learned to be okay with it, but it's just one of those pods that because the original line version is better, I just don't see myself repurchasing these. And I didn't buy it this year. This year I only bought the original line, I bought two boxes because the original line version is so good. They need to make this an espresso, a double espresso, single espresso, whatever, but they need to make it an espresso. And sorry to tell you that if you stop your machine early, that does not make it an espresso. Espresso is brewed differently, entirely a different way. And you can't just like stop your machine early and, and call it an espresso. It doesn't work that way. There's a reason why the capsules are a lot smaller. It's more compact. That's just from my understanding. I've tried it before and I still didn't like it as much as I liked the original line formula. It lacks coconut flavor. You could smell it as it's brewing, but it lacks the flavor once it's said and done. And then it's a bit too watery when you add ice to it which is funny because it's supposed to be a over ice kind of capsule. If you have both machines, if you have original line, then I would refer then I would recommend for sure doing original line and skipping this one. If it's already too late and you have this one at home, find the Chobani Flip Edition creamer. That's the only way that I was able to enjoy this one and if you do have the Hyper Chiller or just chill the coffee before adding it to ice because once you add to ice and it's really hot, it really waters it down. I'm gonna link, oh, I'm gonna link my full review on this so that you guys can see. I am excited about the taste, but I honestly think that in the video it was mainly the creamer that I was trying because after that video, I tried this with other creamers. I've tried it with just milk over ice. 
it just wasn't good so keep that in mind if it's too late though watch that video and that creamer is really good with this one so now i want to check the website and see if there's other ones from the virtual line that i should mention that i don't like being pregnant always takes my breath away i feel like i'm talking a mile a minute and i'm sorry if i sound like i'm out of breath it's mainly the fact that i'm pregnant oh do you see guys do you see this i just ordered that one this one and the original line it's called the exada limina limina over ice limited edition lime and mint double espresso i ordered that can't wait to try it i'll do a taste test i think for that one diabolito i don't have it i've tried it before it's a level intensity 11 intense and powerful i again it just comes down to the point where i just don't like strong brewed coffee strong brewed espresso and i have tried that one and although it wasn't in, it wasn't horrible it's just one pod that although i tried it and kind of liked it it's not one that i see myself repurchasing so again if you're similar to me that just really does like medium medium to medium to dark but like that medium ish then you might not like diabolito either one that is funny because il cafe is a level intensity 11 but that one is just so velvety smooth it's not bitter in my opinion it's so good so if you want something kind of that like strong but not bitter i think il cafe is a better option altizio is also kind of like on the stronger side but i like altizio altizio decaffeinado and altizio regular are really good volteso i'm gonna say it i don't think i've ever said it but i think I've been with Nespresso since 2018 and Volteso is one that I don't, I haven't really purchased often, but when I do purchase it, it I've obviously finished the boxes, but I feel like it's too light. If anything, I would go, it's a single espresso. I would do a Dolce, like a double espresso Dolce. I think that one is better than Volteso. Volteso, I just feel like it's too light to too light and so i would skip that one for sure especially because it's so light and it's only a single get the double espresso dolce and i think you'll be better better with that inicio inicio is another one that i do enjoy if i have it like if it's the only capsule left i'll still enjoy it with some salted caramel syrup it's really good but it's just not a pod that i would see myself repurchasing because there's just other pots that i enjoy better this one is a level intensity four it's a floral cereal which is nice the cerealness but i don't know i just didn't really i just don't see myself getting it again it's a grand lungo so you do get more coffee volume versus like a double espresso or a single um but i don't know it's just not one that i'd say go run and get and then Arondio, I love Arondio. I'm not gonna talk about that one. I think those are it. Yeah, that is it. So let me know in the comments what are your what are your pods that you dislike that you wouldn't recommend buying, but let us know your your preferences. Like if you like dark roast and still say no, don't buy this one, then you know let us know that. But I'm really interested in seeing what you guys think. I love vanilla uh, custard. I love caramel cookie. I know a lot of people don't like caramel cookie, but those are, you know, that's aside the point. But let us know in the comments what are the pods that you do not like and will not purchase and don't recommend anybody to purchase. Leave that in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!